September the 4th, today's wisdom. Ornament of grace, crown of glory. She shall give to that head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Proverbs 4, 9. In this verse, she represents wisdom. The wise parent affirms to the son God entrusted him with that if he wants to receive on his head an ornament of grace, if he wants to wear a crown of glory, the secret is to do anything possible to get wisdom and to keep it. An ornament of grace is the image of the successful life, which implies abundance. A crown of glory is the image of a fulfilled life, which implies order and beauty. Who wouldn't like to have a successful, fulfilled, and abundant life? The dream of every parent is to see the children he is in charge of succeed in life, living happy and long in this earth. But what to do to ensure a happy and an abundant life for children? The big lie that the world communicates is that it's money which guarantees a happy and abundant life. When we believe in this big lie, our vision of the world is skewed at its basis and our model of education is no longer conformed to that of the divine. With a vision of the world based on lie, instead of educating children for life, we educate them for money. Instead of making them disciples of Jesus, we make them slaves of the things of this world. The wise parents are intentional in communicating their vision of the world as well as the transmission of their system of values to their children. When we are not conscious of our vision of the world and of our values, it's a sign which reveals that we have accepted, consciously or not, a vision of the world based on lie. How to have access to that wisdom which guarantees a life truly successful, fulfilled and abundant? Jesus says, The thief cometh not but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. John 10, 10. This means that Jesus alone gives life, and an abundant one, and this exclusively for his sheep, meaning those who believe in him. Truth, Jesus alone gives life, and an abundant one, to whoever believes in him. Application. To believe in Jesus and to build my life and my work on his word. To educate my children so that they become disciples of Jesus. Warning. Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. Luke 12, 15. Let's pray together. Father, thanks for being my ornament of grace and my crown of glory. Amen. Today's reading. Psalm 16 to 20, Proverbs 4, Matthew 10 to 12. You are blessed.